What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another episode of my Roman Empire playthrough, sick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's nice to say that uh, finally, uh, with what, about 123 years to spare, uh, that's why I was talking in previous episodes about people talking about rushing down the empire. I mean, talk about um, fairly difficult, but of course I would say that uh, Byzantium is certainly not the most optimal nation to um, do that with. And uh, what's going on here? Huh, did I not save? Did I exit when I didn't save last episode? Or did our... I seem to remember um, fishing for a discipline advisor and finally getting one, but maybe I'm going crazy. Um, I might have... Uh, sometimes I close the game without saving, you know? I don't remember if I save and close or whatever. You guys aren't interested in that. Uh, just clearing up some confusion if you guys are wondering why. The same thing that I am, but you're probably not. Uh, with that being said, a lot of people were talking about how they're skeptical, not so much that I can kind of conquer the world, but, um, you know, including having Russia up, etc., but more over that I'm going to struggle to convert everything that remains. And uh, for the first time, uh, this is irritating, taking areas which can't be converted. But no, yeah, I, I am only slightly, like, keep in mind we're coring up this land. I am starting to feel like there is a tiny sort of buffer on what we take and therefore are struggling to convert. Well, I'm not being perfectly clear. I'm just saying that uh, I am a little bit concerned. Like, at this stage, the reason that I can't convert the vast majority of these that we can see here is because I'm coring them up. But I feel like it is possible that we could expand at a faster rate than I could uh, achieve those conversions, if you feel me. And uh, that is part of the reason why I had to actually... Let's do this. Keto absolutism, it's 100. I felt like I had to keep the Greek traditions because of the three conversion strength. Now, something that I underestimated was this, or the cathedral, because I was Catholic in my Hungarian playthrough. This uh, missionary strength was uh, pretty significant at the, at trying to achieve exactly that. The one faith, we found out. A lot of people suggested for me to build them, and I did actually uh, underestimate that. But let's get into this game. I'm starting to think, though, however, that I do kind of passively have the missionary strength of similar to that. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, unless I start falling behind, I'm not gonna start building cathedrals anywhere, because, uh, if I'm trying to make any sense, if I do make any sense, right now, I'm all orthodox, essentially, apart from the land that we're coring up. If you feel me, guys, but if we still do begin to fall behind, then, uh, that is what I'm going to utilize my money for. Uh, I would really, really desperately, in fact, like to begin to integrate nations like Spain so that these colonial nations are our own colonial nations, and then we can uh, sort of enforce religion on them. And uh, with that being said, I desperately want to force religion on Florida, which is going to hurt. Uh, because I don't want to have any missionaries idle. And this gives them something to do. So, yep, we are going to be dealing with, uh, Lure Desire. It's just how it is. Fortunately, we gain a decent amount of prestige. And I do like, I don't want my prestige to be desperately low. But I do like to spend it. Because, like I've talked about in the past, the lower it is, the faster you gain it. Uh, if that makes sense. I think it does. So let's get straight into this, guys. Of course, we're going for the full annexation of Portugal. That is what I'm gunning for. And uh, that is going to result in us directly owning Australia. Which is also going to uh, give us land to convert. And I think maybe you guys see what I mean by talking about, for the first time, I feel like... Uh, falling behind in provinces to uh that have the opportunity to convert 
and uh, ones that don't is kind of becoming an issue for the first time. So looks like we've got about two provinces which can be converted and then yeah until we core these up I'm uh, going to be working on my subjects and as we can see, you can see we just began to core those provinces so <clears throat> i do have some uh, troops up here ready to go into that fort and i'm really hoping that portugal does not make this too difficult that they do not have uh, many forts around they have a very small army and of course that's uh including the australians this is also a fort level six which takes some time but there's no portuguese nearby Yeah, in terms of actually owning territory, guys, I feel like our colonial influence is is pretty good. And especially when you take into consideration, um, you know, the colony that I made last episode. I feel like we're doing all right. Uh, when you look at, you know, I do feel small in a way. Of course, we did begin as Byzantium. It's not like we're, you know, Hungary or Austria or anything like that. Uh, but naturally, with our allies of <clears throat> Russia, and even Ming, I, I really was hoping that Ming got uh, religious ideas. I guess it's not like him, as the East Asians don't really struggle with uh, religious instability. But, oh, check out Ming out here in Africa, by the way. Lol. Yeah, I mean, I'd be willing to release him, like I've mentioned. I feel like... He could spread orthodox himself. Okay, why do I not have any bloody troops nearby? Let's go, at the very least, go and feed Ethiopia for once. At the moment, this is costing us, like, no overextension. So I've got a feeling that we're not going to be 100% overextended. Oh, no, dude. I might find the issue where I wish I knew the names of these islands. Um, I, I bloody hate that issue. Which, of course, if you remember the epic fail in my uh, Hungarian episode, where I did not know the name of, what's it called? Like, Sulu Island or something. This island here. And uh, turns out that trying to Google or something like that on the fly is, um, it's not perfectly easy when you just have to vaguely describe the, uh, well, I'm, I'm dumb, is what I'm trying to say, guys, I'm dumb. Under that kind of pressure, it's it's the most failage, failage, that's a word. What are you talking about? It's definitely a word uh, that we have witnessed before. Apart from me just being generally ugly and things like that, of course. Okay, so one of the... There we go. One can be converted, but these other ones, they've got bloody modifiers on them. And as much as it pains me, guys, every time I hear that sound, that sound, I have to uh, be quite vigilant and pause in order to uh, put our missionaries back to work. Because I also feel like that had a, a big, it was very significant, ultimately, in my Hungarian playthrough. You know, you can't let the game run while your missionaries are not working, sadly. And apparently, you don't even get a thing that pops up uh, when it's only helping you out uh, via your subject. It kind of, I kind of feel like Spain has got that, so... We should be able to actually land on here because it is Portuguese, but there's so many of them. Oh, wow. Including Canton. Looks like they're actually uh, colonies. That's fine. Um, coring range, of course, is not an issue thanks to these provinces. So I'm trying to... Oh, he owns the same bloody island. Was it the Sulu, guys? I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. No, it's K. I do. Oh, okay. I'll take that from you, please. 
Oh, no, 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 no. It's this one here. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. False alarm, guys. False alarm. See, he only has Australia. He, Unlike, very often, I'm trying to fully annex nations, and they have a, a tremendous amount of uh, colonies. This guy only has Australia. So I can actually go around and just click on every province, and then uh, if it goes like that over to Australia, then uh, we know I don't desire it. Now, most of these ones which are grayed out are probably inland Australian provinces. Oh, okay. So it will work better once I separate piece this dude. All right, all right. I figured it out. That puts my mind at ease a little bit. We can just use that uh, tab, th thankfully. Often the functionality, that's exactly what it is there for. But uh, often it's it doesn't do the trick, again, to reiterate, because usually when I'm attacking Portugal, you know, they have... They have Brazil, they just got bloody everything, and you can... I mean, we're talking literally hundreds of provinces, like in my previous playthrough. Literally hundreds. So, Louisiana should get converted up quickly, or Florida, rather. Uh, and I just need that. He doesesn't have any debt. So, I guess, um... We could decrease tariffs, which costs admin. Well, it's certainly not ideal, but if I'm ahead in my admin, that's going to be something uh, useful to spend our points on in the future instead of, you know, just arbitrarily developing provinces at this point. Um, it just occurred to me that how much overextension is this? Very little. I'm wondering. That does not cost Diplo. This will speed up the process big time if I piece them out in both terms of locating the Portuguese provinces, but also ruining his enthusiasm when he does no longer have a friend. But on the other hand, we could take land without it costing anything. There we go, found one. Via uh, piecing out Portugal. Okay, I assume... Well, it's not Australia, is it? It's pretty close. Midway. Seems to be here. Which is the island there. There's an island there. New Caledonia. That looks like it's on Tasmania, that one. This is so tedious, guys. What we're looking for, of course, is that full annexation to pop up. There we go, our Bourbon. No, wait! <clears throat> I hate it when this happens. So Portugal will still exist. Oh my goodness. It's the colony that will be in Australia that I have to click. But I can't see it. That's awkward. Well, it's going to be way too tedious, guys. I'm just going to get rid of this guy. Uh, how are we doing on our Diplo? We're doing fine, eh? How's our extension? Let's take a little bit. I should quickly just check how much is this going to cost. Like nothing at all, dude. Okay, let's spend a little bit of Diplo here just expanding. Getting a little bit of overextension. That'll do just fine. Which I just occurred to me. Oh, thank goodness. I, I thought for a second that I couldn't call them. Because I can't call these ones. But uh, luckily I can. That would have been awkward if I was not able to. Thankfully I can. Alright, so with the Portuguese. What I'm going to do. Jeez. Here's the thing. I think it's the. I think he's got a colony in this down. Do you guys see what I'm saying? Which of course is not part of Australia. Now... Uh, he's got two colonies here, 
So theoretically, he should have only one other colonist. Now, does it say anywhere whether it's owned by Portugal? Oh, uh, like anyway, I don't think it does. Damn it. So in theory, the other thing is there could be another province, but in theory, if I go around clicking on this, Then at the top it should say I cede uh, fully annex Portugal. The only ones that I cannot make core should be inland, I suggest. If we can make midway, god dang it, it is inland. Uh, okay, if we take the provinces then they will just flip back, right? Or flip, become a new colonial. Uh-oh. Does he genuinely have provinces that I can't core? We might be doing this too early. Tauranga. I, that's New Zealand. I know that because I'm a Kiwi. God dang it! He's, New Zealand is too far away, because Tauron was on the coast. No! No! Tauron is the colony, because it's the only one. Wait, no, Siri, okay. Ah, ah, Splendor. Oh, oh, okay, we're good. We're good. I've almost got that. I'll get it by the time we finish the war. Oh my goodness, there's so many coffee there. Thank goodness, guys. The bailout. The bailout. We've got one, two, three, four things passed. We get Splendor quickly. Uh, and then I can buy, basically, that coin distance is just ignored. Oh, stressing me out, game. Jeez. And I'm almost certain that his colony is Siri or Tauranga, aren't I? So we're going to clear it and just go back through the list. Ignore the Australian ones. And then uh, add Siri or Tauranga once we ignore their range. Rush is no longer an invalid rival. That feels bad, man, because uh, power projection is a thing of the past. But yay, he is actually killing this guy, just like we planned. And of course, unlike other nations, he converts consistently. Good job, Russia. Last episode, we released that little guy. Uh, yeah, bad news is... Uh, Struggle to get power prediction, but we did get a little boon to power prediction from him becoming invalid, so it's whatever. It's whatever. We're just going to have to deal, like most games, without much power prediction. Okay. Portuguese uh, units are all there. I was going to go to those islands, but you know what I didn't find out, though, is which one, if any of them have forts on them. Damn it. Let's just go get his capital, though, as I know I need that one. Don't worry, guys. This uh, is what happens, basically, apparently, at this stage of the game. But the good news is that um, we figured it out. Okay, I have I have troops nearby. I'm not too worried about this guy. Should I do Reconquest, Imperialism, or Holy War? These ones have reduced cost, but I kind of feel like show superiority often gives me war score faster, you know? But let's just do imperialism. His forts are still not built up. Fantastic. I hate it when they are. The faster that we pump out these multiple wars, the faster we gain a, a little bit of prestige. Which I think is significant. Use it for that uh, liberty desire situation. And I suspect that we're going to core up some of these provinces before I finish my war with Portugal. Um, so my intention is to t take a sort of a hybrid of uh, feeding Ethiopia and feeding myself here in Yemen. But um, we'll see. We will see. There we go. So ignore coring distance. I can't even look at the other ones. We need that. 
Now, please. Yes. Yep. Those were the two. Okay, so let's go back through it. I can see these ones. Just click on all the ones that I can see because it makes it easier, even though some of which I know the names. Yep, the tedium is real. But it's got to be done. Uh -huh, I can see those ones. Mm, that's midway, okay. Ah, that's where it was. I was like, is that a Kiwi province? I should know that. I don't think it, like, it certainly doesn't look uh, native to New Zealand. But it's the only one. I actually um, saw that last episode. I should have known. So apparently that was out of range as well, eh? Makes sense, I guess. But uh, we got them all, lads. I'm pretty confident we got them all. It's just we have to um, click them all. And then we have to demoralize Portugal enough. Their full annexation. Great. So the question is now... Where does he have forts apart from this? Hopefully nowhere, I say. It's usually quite difficult, guys, to, to get that to show up from my experience, but Portugal at this stage is not um, hugely powerful, is he? It can be even more difficult, for sure, when they're hugely powerful. Yeah, so a lot of people in the previous episode talking about how um, they felt like I should hustle. And I unfortunately feel the same way. If I want to get this one faith, I need to hustle. Uh, and I say unfortunately because, um, yeah, the, the tedium does begin to kick in. Without a doubt. But... Uh, The way that I've been thinking about things is, I, I just recently, well, it's been months, <laughs> but I feel like I've been in this situation before as Hungary. And again, when I consider myself to just have Russia, um, I feel, yeah, like we're it's pretty reminiscent, right? Similar, definitely in similar shape, I would say. Um, but this time around, we've got that sweet, sweet conversion strength. And many more. We've got two more missionaries. So. And uh, even more importantly, we can, of course, just like we are now, convert subjects, which I could not do as uh, Hungary. That actually became our complete... It, it under... We got completely undermined by the fact that I could not convert things. <gasps> he doesn't have any forts! The dream is real! And it's because obviously he got so weakened at such an early stage by us. The dream is real. So we got taking war score. Um, yeah, we'll get him. Just give us some time, I reckon. We'll get him. Oh, god dang, I should have kept looking for that advisor who is Swabian. Yes! Wait, what? Oh, Swabian. Oh. I thought it was... Sw God dang it. I'm thinking about my Austrian game that I keep playing. <laughs> it was Swabian. I was like, so sure I could boost him up because I didn't realize that I'm Greek. Damn it. Damn it. He's ranked three. 
Maybe I can't be bothered, guys. It's so tedious and it costs so much. I think I might be content with rank 3 in uh, military. If it was any other point, obviously I wouldn't, but... I mean, we're not this desperate for military points, are we? I could boost legitimacy. Ah, oh, god dang it. Get... get out of my life. Please. Please, can I make a request? That you get out of my life! And come back Greek, okay? If you know a Greek, send them my way. I'm so sick of these Germans. God dang it, except I'm not actually. Because I love them. The pain is certainly real. I mean, of course, the other choice is that we just don't use discipline, but the, reali the reality is, guys, if you look around the world, uh, where everybody's ticked up to the same level, which I certainly don't like about this game. It has a tendency to happen. Even areas which, of course, like if you were to play the next iteration of the series, Victoria, they would be so far behind and, you know, completely bastardized their economies and so on. But in this game, or their technology, rather, um, they're just they're just the bomb and they're like, huh? What are you talking about? I'm beating you in tech because you just... You just took a military idea, dude. We've got way better soldiers. <laughs> Which is a bit unrealistic. But... I actually really like Institutes. I've talked about this before. But I'm just not the biggest fan about how, how the AI in, very, in every corner of the world uh, catches up, ultimately. It should be, um, in my opinion, slightly fixed in that regard slightly like maybe if you're a player of course i would like to use methods to catch up like spreading around the world but um yep just my opinion it's a bit a little bit too efficient at doing that spreading so if we take out his army here guys and uh Give me a discipline advisor, please. If we take out his army, that's certainly going to help uh, enable us to piece him out sooner. I'm positive. It will dramatically affect his uh, enthusiasm. Let's go get another stack. Now, I need stack to deal with those rebels that are going to spawn here. Good, and I'm about to be capped on my admin. I've got to keep an eye on that. How much was this going to give us after all? 7.2. A very few amount of our points. But that's okay. It's going to give us provinces to convert. And that's what counts. Speaking of which, I'm apparently not using my missionaries, but we're backed up. No, we're not. We're almost backed up. Yes, we are. One over. Okay. Yeah, dude. I feel like we uh, we convert faster. Do you know what I'm saying? We, again, we can't convert anymore because we're coring. But as long as we're doing that, as long as we're converting faster than we can expand, I feel like we're in pretty good shape. If I get to the point where I'm expanding faster and faster and not coring what I and not converting what I take. At that point I'm gonna start stressing out. Integrating uh well finishing this war is gonna be good for giving us provinces to convert, i.e. Australia when we enforce religion on him. But uh integrating the Spanish is really gonna test our missionaries at that point because we might find like uh you know I don't, I don't actually have experience trying to attempt one faith to be honest really guys i only did it one other time and so sometimes when you go in uh at least myself i can't exactly gauge what the real difficulty is going to be dude Has he increased his war score cost? I hope not. I 
hope England has not increased his Warsaw cost since we last uh, fought him. Do I have Diplomatic? I do. Sweet. I'm pretty sure with Imperialism, that's negative 25, and then the extra 20, he is fully annexable, and then we're going to get a tremendous amount of uh, reformed nations to uh, convert. Yeah, my little rant there, guys, I was just trying to say that I actually did not realize going into One Faith that the real drawback, the real difficulty that I was dealing with it was simply having the capacity to convert things. Um, you know, I, I kind of had the idea that uh, actually owning the world, for example, that's kind of the difficulty, but I was wrong. I was certainly wrong. I owned the world and some. I mean, I had subjects and so on, but that was not the difficulty. It was simply converting the provinces. I don't want to be cocky, but with the seven missionaries that we have, and the extra missionary strength here, and the extra missionary strength here, that is five missionary strength. That is way more. And, uh, yeah, don't know if we'll pull it off, to be fair, but I certainly know that we have a much better odds, especially if Russia's going to help us out like he has been. In fact, he finally bloody integrated Razan and uh, converted his province as well, whichever province he was remaining with. So that's really good, dude. Uh, it's still extremely irritating the guarantees that he has. Look at this, by the way. Scandinavia has dramatically digressed. Mm, he's losing Mexico. That's a shame. He did at one stage have colonies, which he has uh, almost completely lost. And with that core, I was thinking that we could uh, fill the Diplo slot there. Uh-oh. Coalition rising. We'll probably find that it just disappears again, though. But I was uh, planning to go into the British, as I know that that will take a fairly long time as well, that war. It's probably going to be even more tedious than the Portuguese this Portuguese war to find each of the provinces. No! He started a new colony. Okay, it's probably New Zealand. Come on, monk. Dude, to be fair though, this game names some of the provinces wrong. I'm just saying. It's probably New Zealand, monk. Look at the ones which are not picked. God dang it. I've actually got a little bit more vision. Can I see the colony that he's put down? Um, can I see it in Asia? He was colonizing Asia. God dang it. We're not fully Nixon, guys, because he's put another colony down. I don't recognize the name, though. No. Oh. Okay, there aren't that many provinces. So the one in Tauranga has finished, and he's put another one down, surely. It could be in Australia, considering, I mean, he is he was colonizing the Australian region, which is New Zealand, of course, in this game. No way. What's going on? What's going on? Um, s somebody, somebody occupied something. Uh, I'm trying to think. Somebody's. Huh. Oh God. Yep, found it. Okay. Uh, 
Guess what, mate? Yeah, you guessed right. It's war time. It's war time. We, let's go take that occupation, guys, so that we can peace Portugal out. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, so we have to deal with Mali, which is unfortunate because he's one tech behind us, and that's why we need... <gasps> Roman, yes, that's why we need some discipline to help us out in our wars. Um, it's a shame, though, dude, getting a truce with Mali. Hmm. Yep, here's our item. Okay, let's go to war. We go once again. Three wars, no biggie. Yeah, it's a shame that I'm kind of kept on admin, though. Dude, Spanish have a decent army over there helping us out, like a champion. One of these navies should go back up here. And I, I, could, I could do a fourth navy for sure. We've got a lot of money, and we've got a lot of sailors. Um, what are we missing? Some transports, no doubt. Let's get some extra transports there, considering our sailors are basically capped out. Ah, yeah, true, this coalition is going to build up and up. Because of the wars we are fighting, but it's somewhat predictable. We don't care about not pretender rebels. What do I look like? I care about that. Okay, the modifier from uh, flipping religion here in Florida should go away. Taper off. So we should have a bias to his liberty desire reducing. And, uh, yep. Let's uh, go ahead and declare this war. So, with that being said, guys, I've completely lost track of time, uh, which has a tendency to happen, and I apologize if the episode is, uh, like, really short. Um, but, yeah, I don't feel like we're going to finish uh, any of these uh, wars in the immediate future, and uh, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead in this episode. I'm, I'm looking at the time. Did I, did I drop the ball, guys? Is it terribly short? I don't know. Uh, sorry about that. If it is, sometimes I bloody talk myself, talk to myself far too much, and I forget basic things. It doesn't help that, like, if you've worked a long day, or, uh, really tired, or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, I apologize if it's short, but it might not be. Sometimes I say that, and it's been, like, an hour, lol. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Trying to pick up the pace here, and, uh, fighting multiple wars at the same time. Holy crap. I didn't even realize that Britain Brazil was owned by him. That's good news because we're about to get this free colony as well, guys. Apparently we're going all in on Benin, if that's how you say his name. Uh, because this is actually going to be a profitable war. It gives us much more land to convert. We're all about taking these colonies and enforcing religion on them and converting them up, guys. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, not so much, I guess, I guess still, considering how close that is, let's spend some admin here, but I'm not looking forward to our admin being, yeah, kept out like this and I can't spend it. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, I'm actually excited all of a sudden, these are, these are fairly, uh, profitable wars, uh, productive wars, uh, and we'll be continuing that, uh, in the next episode, I'll see you then.